everybody, it's Kristen. It is Friday night, five o'clock, it's dark. It's been so nice all day today, it was like 70 degrees. I get in my car to come home, I get out to get gas, it's windy and 50 degrees all of a sudden. Good gracious. So I came in and um, I had called the septic guy. I don't know if you guys have the same rules as we do, but our septic has to be inspected every three years. And it was our third year, so I called today to schedule it. And she was like, okay, we should be there in a week or so. I come home and here they are. So I kind of got all off kilter. So anyway, not that you really care that our septic was just inspected, but we passed. Um, so Bob is outside smoking a stogie. And I am going to, we're just going to run it. We're a little off schedule. This would normally be Fish Friday. But it didn't work out for most of the rest of the harem. So we decided just to, you know, postpone for a couple of weeks. Last week, because I wasn't home, we didn't go grocery shopping when we normally do. So we're just going to go to Aldi and run and pick up a couple of things. And then we have another little uh, treat for you that you'll probably see in the title already. But So I'll just tell you. We're going to go down to see the sturgeon spawning and hopefully get some footage of that for you guys. Um, that's something that happens once a year. It's pretty cool. We'll explain a little bit more when we're down there. I'm a little annoyed because it's windy. And that's going to be hard with the microphone, you know, on the on the camera. But I'll do my best. If it's too terrible, I'll put music behind it, and then I'll come like and I'll come on camera later and ex explain it. But anyway, yeah. So I better just get going. I gotta go put something warmer on because it's cold. Okay, so it's five thirty-six now. We are in the car and headed to what Wolf River, right? It's the Wolf River. Yep. You think I'd know that? And I had to hat up because it's really windy. Sweatshirt up and hat up. It's 56 degrees. So I was a little exaggerating when I said 50, but it was 70 earlier today. Was it not? Oh, it was warmer this morning. Yeah, it was. Warm yeah, it was sticky. It was humid. Yeah. yeah. I could tell because my hair was particularly curly today. Yeah, curly. <laughs> so you want to say hi? Hi. That's all you got? Yep. Somebody made a comment on the last vlog that that sometimes they feel like I give you a harder time than necessary. I reminded them, uh, excuse me? Yeah, I reminded. I them agree, <laughs> I concur. I reminded them that the camera was not always on. Let's be honest with the viewers, shall we? The camera's not always on. Yeah, and you give me plenty of a hard time. Oh no, don't lie, Krista. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. you're an angel. Just yeah. an angel. So anyway, we will uh, we'll, we'll show you. But I wanted to, I wanted to point out that it is light and bright still at 5:30, which makes me happy. And things are starting to look green, which makes me happy. Yeah, buddy, nothing but happiness in here. So I decided that maybe it would be better if Bob explained the sturgeon spawning situation before we're outside and the wind's blowing all over the place. That way. If it's too windy when, with the footage that I have, I'll be able to just put some lovely music behind it and you'll be able to see the fish. So, talk to us about the sturgeon. Hello, folks. Oh, jeez. For those of you who don't know what sturgeon are, they are actually a prehistoric fish. Um, and they can grow up to seven foot long, they've had them, uh, well over 300 pounds. Um, they're a protected species here in Wisconsin. Um, we do have a certain time of the year where they are allowed to be harvested. It's usually um, February, March, I think. February, I believe it's February. They have a spearing season through the ice down on Lake Winnebago. That's where uh, all the that's where all the sturgeons are home. What's happening now is is they're traveling up the Wolf River from Lake Winnebago, and the first dam on the Wolf River happens to be way up here in Shawnee, which is probably. Um, 50 miles, 50, 60 miles that they have to swim. Some of them don't come up all the way. There's a few of them that uh, spawn um, in closer towns to Lake Winnebago. But a lot of them come up here, the majority of them come up here to the dam. And then there's some that stick around, but then they mostly all swim right back down to to um, Lake Winnebago again. But what they're doing is, is, I mean, it's the time of the year where, you know, animals usually it's once a year for most animals. And, time of year where the sturgeon come up here and lay their eggs on the rocks and the males come in and fertilize them and hopefully they have all kinds of little ones and so. sometimes they're so thick 
Like, there's so many of them you could walk across. Yeah, I mean, there's days, yeah. Yesterday might have been the best, best day to go when it was so warm. But yeah. Hopefully, they'll be in there tonight, too. I did look. If you go to wolfrivercam.com, yes. you can actually click on where it says Shano, and you can see an underwater camera. There are other under, underwater cameras, but I would guess Shano's the only place they're going to see fish at this point. They're probably past the rest of them. Maybe. Yeah, I, I mean, you, yeah, on the other cameras, you might see an occasional one go floating by. but Yeah. So I did look today, and I saw some fish today. I didn't see a ton, but I saw some. So we're kind of hitting the end of it. Normally, this is it's very late this year. Normally, it happens around April 20th. Yep. So, you know, somewhere around there. But because it's taken so long to warm up this year, it's really delayed. The water has temperature has to be warmer. So I saw today the water temperature was like 51 degrees which is good, right? It's yep. a little cool, but good for, for this. So anyway, so there's an explanation of what we are about to show you. Anything else? All right, we've covered it. So this is the parking lot that they have, and this is just for people to view the sturgeon. I mean, otherwise there'd be like one car in this parking lot. Sometimes I come here and have my lunch. All right, so see, they have a little sign about some of the What's that? You can see him in the water now underneath the railroad bridge. You can see his tail sticking out of the water seal. Not necessarily, but I'm zooming in. Down over this thing, you well, mean? We can go down and walk on that platform and yeah. try to get a better look. I wanted, to show, I wanted to show them this. Oh. Do you want me to take it? Alright, so do you see all the tails? Usually we can see them along here too. Normally we see them along here too. We'll go up on top of the bridge and see if we can see how big they are. I just think it's so cool. This obviously is the dam. <laughs> I should have said that before. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, it's hard to see, but they're so big. Nope. Went away. They're, oh yeah, do you see how long that is? They're just huge. So the females come in, drop the eggs, and the males come in and do their thing. Yep. <laughs> You know. It's hard to see, just sometimes you can see the little tail poke up. There are a bunch out here. This is what Bob was trying to get me to see before. But as you can see, this is the thing to do. What's that? Everybody said, as you can see, this is the thing to do. So we're up on a bridge. That's down where we just were. I'm trying to see. You guys can see them a little better. If you guys can't see anything, this is going to be like the most boring footage ever. There's a huge one right there. This would be so much better if it was... Oh, can I, I, I hope that you guys are understanding how big these... Maybe I'm the only one that thinks this is cool. But they're just ginormous. Right there. <coughs> so it's probably too close. We just think it's pretty cool. Some of these fish are hundred are like hundred years old, aren't they? Yep. Some of them are really old and they tag them. DNR is not here tonight, but usually they're out here tagging them, some of them, so that they can kind of, you know, keep track.
So how many feet long do you think like those ones are? At least, huh? And they're all grouped up there, yeah. You know? Yep. Oh, it's just crazy. <laughs> you guys are all gonna think I'm nuts. I just think it's cool. You don't see stuff like that every day. Well, they're only up here for a couple days. And yep, they and then right back home. yep, and then we don't see them again. Pretty neat. This is. I probably should show you. This is another view of Shano Dam. I fish on just on the other side. Yes, Bob fishes on the other side. But <laughs> you guys know how we have those barn quilts all over? This is a feed store, right? Is that what it's called? Yep. Feed store? A feed store. And so they have little bird houses on their barn quilt. Isn't that cute? Have you ever seen that before? No, not It's got to be right pretty now. new. Anyway, just thought I'd show you. Can you guys see this bumper sticker or the sticker in the window? Hmm. <laughs> Bob goes, oh, jeez. <laughs> You're not, don't you're not no. <laughs> I mean, I, the boat I got now, the fish get so scared that I don't even got to fish for them. They just jump right, they surrender. Oh, they just jump right yeah, in the boat? They just jump right in the boat. <laughs> He's all mine, folks, all mine. And you're proud of it, aren't you? <laughs> it's true. We just ordered pizza from Pizza Hut to yep. pick up after we go grocery shopping to take home for dinner. Yep, we did. Mm -hmm. We did. We have to figure out. If we're going to be healthier, well, we are going to be. What day is going to be our cheat? What day is going to be our cheat day? More than likely, it's going to be Friday because it's going to have to be because of fish, fish and stuff. Yeah, so it might as well just be Friday. And then when we do go shopping, we usually get something to eat when we shop too. Mm -hmm. So Friday's going to have to be cheat Friday's day. Friday's going to be the cheat day. Yep, true story. True story, Morning Glory. Unless there's a holiday like this weekend, you right? Know, Mother's Day. We're going to a buffet. We're, so, going, hey, we're going to a Jimmy Buffet. And, uh, um, you know, you know I'm going to eat good. Yeah, Bob is. He, he has to make up for the two of us, really. Yep, I got to eat. Gotta All right. Keep the pipes up, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're going to go to Aldi. See, there it is. Aldi. Okay, so we're in the parking lot of Pizza Hut, which is also the parking lot of the boat place. But <laughs> only in Chano. And can you guys hear? The race cars. Yeah, that's the sounds of summer here in Shano. Yeah. There is a race, well, it's called the Shano Speedway over yeah. there at the fairgrounds. Half mile dirt clay oval. Well, my friends, it is a little after seven and we are home with our Pizza Hut pizza and some sort of jalapeno, pepper, potato, cheesy thingies or something that Bob. <laughs> Um, and we are going to eat some dinner and watch a little TV. Short vlog today, but I thought you guys would enjoy seeing the surgeon, so I hope it wasn't boring. And hopefully either there wasn't a lot of wind, or I put music behind it, or you didn't mind the wind. Not sure how it's going to look. We'll see. I have to watch it back yet. But So we will see you tomorrow. I don't know really what's going on tomorrow, but... Boat I'm ride. Be... Oh, I'm going on a boat ride? Yep. Boat ride. Yay. How are they? Good. This is what is being consumed. I don't remember what they were called. Is that a ranch? Yes. I don't remember what they were called. No, it was, yeah, you had a goofy name. A goofy name. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what we have for you guys today. We will see you tomorrow with apparently a boat ride. Talk to you later. Bye.